Well, hello there, and how are you doing? Oh, I am so glad to hear it. And so am I. Isn't that amazing? Hmm. Well, here we are. We're in the 39th week of quarantine and lockdown. And next week is week 40, which is Christmas week. Can you believe that? Christmas is next week. My goodness me. And what's Santa going to do without an aeroplane to fly in to deliver all those presents to all those deserving boys and girls, eh? <laughs> well, we'll have to work on that. Now, I've got the computer all done. It's all set. I had to add a little card on the inside to give myself some more USB ports. There are a lot of USB modules in this computer and everything has to be connected. This forward overhead, it uses three USBs. That FS and that FS each uses a USB. There is one for the MCP. There are two for the MIP itself, the main instrument panel. And then there is one for each of the two CDUs. There's one each for all the clocks on both sides. One for the throttle quadrant. And seven for the radio panel. And on top of that, I have to have a mouse, a keyboard, and also uh, this little monitor is attached which will be my boot monitor and I'm going to show you that in just a moment. So if you're ready what say we fire it up and see whether or not we can do it without calling the fire brigade. What do you think? Any 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 options? Anybody want to say it's going to be a fire and it's going to be a disaster? Those who say it's going to work? All right. No more bets, ladies and gentlemen. Pas de plus. Finish. We will now start the computer and see who is right, shall we? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> it's working! It's working, it's working, it's working. How about that? How about that? Now, this computer is running seven monitors. Those two little parts there is one monitor. This part in the middle is another. There's a third. Then each one of these is one. That's six. And then this one, which is the number one, and that shows me basically what everything is working. <laughs> It's working! It's working! It's working! Hallelujah! How about that? All right, all of those that said it would never work, pay up! Ha! <laughs> all right, don't worry about it. <clears throat> now, let's show you some detail here, shall we? Now, down here, you can see I've got a large hub, and each of the modules on here are all plugged into it. There you can see them all. Now I had a, a problem initially with running out of space for the USBs. Believe it or not, I had more USB connections than the computer would handle. So I had to put in that extra little card that gave me five extra uh, ports to play with, which I really, really needed. 
over here you can see these are all the USB devices and then these of course you can see I've got four controllers and then all of these are the monitors and some of these have got sound so close up on these you can see this in out cards these are all open cockpit modules and each one has to be connected for it to work wow isn't it amazing and over here this USB has got one of those radio control things in it and that allows me to run the keyboard and the mouse on just one USB but in any event this is also a touch screen as you can see and I needed a touch screen because when it gets to the point of starting the computer to start say I want to start um, Navigraph charts I can just tap on it and it makes it a lot easier to get into the various programs Wow so there it is it's all working this is how I've got my monitors arranged number three is this one and then four six and five that's the main spread of the instrument panel number one I turned it so it would be vertical and that's this one down there in the very center and then the two of the one one side and one the other side as these two here those are the CDUs so that's how I arrange the monitors right as I said this is just a quick update just to let you know I've managed to get everything com connected <coughs> what I have to do now is install the SIOC SIOC S -I -O -C is the little um, system program that connects all of the modules and connects it with PMDG on the inside and I have then OC4BA from Raw Christensen he wrote all the wonderful scripts that connects every switch every knob every detail everything on here so if I turn it on the hardware it turns it on to uh, on in the simulated aircraft so everything works everything works yokes on both sides pedals on both sides throttle quadrant all works right I feel like I'm making progress so I'll get back with you next week and let you know how I've come along with all the rest of the uh, connections and uh, hopefully we'll have something new to show you alright take care see you next week